Hi, my name is Patch Drury. I'm a board certified clinical hypnotherapist and a dream analyst. And I use this YouTube channel to talk about dream analysis and the concept of the daemon or daemon. In this video specifically, we're gonna talk about which is it? Do you pronounce it daemon? Do you pronounce it daemon? Uh, but before we get to that, if you want to check out my Patreon, the link's down on the, in the description. Uh, you can support my work to make sure these videos keep coming out and you can learn how to analyze your own dreams. That's something I teach on the Patreon. Getting on to the discussion at hand, um, you see the daemon uh, spelled a couple of different ways, uh, and pronounced, you hear it pronounced a couple of different ways, daemon or daemon. Um, which is it? Which one is correct? I have asked this question myself to people before. What, what do you, how, how do you say it? Which one's right? And um, I have, uh, I am not the person from my own uh knowledge to answer this question. I, d I don't have a grasp of ancient languages or um, the way they make their way into English. Like that's not my field of study. Uh, but I know people who uh, are interested in that sort of thing. And I've reached out to them and I've said, is it, which is correct, daemon or daemon? And, and what I got back, and this was just the answer I heard from these people. So if you disagree with this, that's fine. You can have an opinion on this different than mine. I'm not, I'm not trying to take away your opinion or correct you or anything like that. But the person said that daemon and daemon are both transliterations of the Greek word. And so a transliter transliteration is different than a translation. A translation is when we say, okay, this word means this in Greek. What's a word in English that means the same thing? That's what translation is. Transliteration is not when you're transferring or where, where you're trying to find uh, words that mean the same thing, but you're taking one alphabet and converting it to another alphabet. So the word in Greek look like this in the Greek alphabet. So let's kind of line up that with the English alphabet. Okay, this sound is this, this sound is this, this sound is this. And so what you get when you try to uh, s express that word using an English language is either daemon or daemon. Both, both are ways of kind of getting that, those sounds into English. Also, the person told me the word, our modern word demon is a transliteration of that word. Uh, and so demon obviously comes with a lot of baggage. You know, demon is an evil spirit. Uh, most people probably aren't super familiar with the concept of the daemon or the daemon. And so um, it may not carry as much baggage. It kind of sounds like demon, obviously. So to some people, they just immediately, when you say daemon, they're like, oh, he's talking about a demon. Uh, and so they... Uh, they lend the evilness of that concept to the word you're using. Um, but uh, whether you say it daemon, daemon, or in this context, demon, it, it's not about evil. It's not an evil spirit. It's a guiding spirit. It's an internal spirit. It's a spirit that uh, I, you know, I tend to think of it as your soul even. Uh, and so I guess if you're evil, <laughs> your soul is evil. Uh, but uh, if you're not evil, then I would say your soul is probably not evil. Um, but uh, anyway, that's, that, that's a conversation about uh, translation and transliteration and which word. And so you'll notice in this station or in this channel, I go back and forth between daemon and daemon. And I don't, I kind of do that on purpose and I kind of don't do it on purpose. Uh, I, I don't, I, I do it on purpose in the sense that I'm not trying to plant a flag in either pronunciation. But uh, at the same time, I don't consciously think I'm going to say it this way this time and I'm going to say it this way that time. It just kind of comes out whatever comes out. Uh, so anyway, that's my explanation around um, pronunciations. Thanks.